Let's go! Welcome back to Defending Football. Thank you guys so much for watching. The DC Defenders took down the Arlington Renegades 29-28, to and man, was it a game. I'm not going to lie to you, it looked like the DC Defenders were going to lose this game. But down 10 points with under one minute left on the clock, the DC Defenders won the game by one point on a walk-off field goal. This was the first game of the weekend for the UFL. This is the XFL Championship rematch where the DC Defenders were defeated by the Arlington Renegades last year in the XFL Championship game. And DC needed to get revenge this year against the Renegades who are now our division rival. As I've said before, the Renegades are most likely our best rival in the UFL besides the Battle Hawks. We do not like them and they do not like us. And in this game, Arlington got out to a huge lead. But DC stuck with it, made the plays when they had to make the plays. Tayamu extended drives with his legs. And obviously in the fourth quarter, we caught fire and ended up winning the game to go 2-1 and one on the season. While the Renegades are now 0-3. And, and that was just a dagger to the heart of the Renegades. It may give them almost no shot to make the playoffs. And I'm not too upset about it. So obviously winning always helps. Jordan Tayamu's stats for the game. Didn't actually look too pretty. 45.8% completion percentage. That's pretty bad. 177 yards. But he did throw two touchdowns with no picks, no turnovers. Exactly what we need. 53 additional rushing yards, which were very key in this victory. And then, was he clutch? Yeah, of course he was clutch. Even though Tamu had a very low completion percentage, he still made some of the most clutch plays in the game when we needed them. And at the end of the day, a win is a win is a win. Now, am I super happy about this win? Kind of. But why I'm concerned is our defense did give up a lot of yards and a lot of points. Third down was very tough for us. It seemed like the Renegades were converting almost every single third down on us. And just feeling the vibe of the game, you could tell Arlington was in control for pretty much the whole thing. But momentum did swing in the fourth quarter. And I'm glad we are sitting here talking about a W instead of an L. The run game also has to be more consistent with DC. Tamu picked up the majority of the load and they were big time runs in big time moments. But we do need to rely on a running back a little bit more. And as I said a few weeks ago, we got to get more creative with the run. With Abram Smith, you could line up and just run the ball. But in this instance, we don't have Abram Smith anymore. No knock towards our running backs right now, but they are not Abram Smith. So, get creative with the running back room. You have Francois, you can bring him in for special packages. Remember De'Ara King? And you can run jet sweeps with Kiki QT. There's a ton of things that you can do. I would love us to lean into that a little bit more. It would settle Tamu down a little bit earlier in the game. Softening up the defense for the pass. And overall making him look better and more confident in the game when throwing. But that being said, Tamu did play very well. Stats don't look amazing, but if you watch the game, his situational awareness was very good, and without him, I don't think we win this game. So all of that being said, obviously this was a very entertaining game. Once again, a lot of stress for Defenders fans. I feel like we might be one of the most stressed fan bases in the UFL. But looking at the state of the division, Battle Hawks at number one, defeating the Brahmas, so they dropped down to number two, and then obviously we lost to the Brahmas. So we are number three, technically all tied, but we lose the tiebreaker because we lost to the Brahmas. And apparently your XFL champions are at number four in the basement of the division. So it looks like DC is going to have some work to do to get into the playoffs this year. Definitely a competitive division. One of those teams is not going to make the playoffs and I don't want it to be us. So we're going to have to dig deep. The problem is we do have to play the Birmingham Stallions this week. I'm going to give a few key points of how we can defeat the Stallions. Obviously, the Stallions are the undisputed best team in the UFL, and they have been probably the best team in spring football the past two years. Two championships, two show for it, and they know what they're doing, and they're not stopping for anybody. So can DC get a sneaky win here? Would I be a Defenders fan if I didn't pick the Defenders to win? So I'm going to pick them to win, even though I shouldn't. The way we can escape with this win, stop Adrian Martinez. Do not let him get outside of the pocket. 
make him throw. Don't let him get creative with his legs. Can his arm beat you? Yes, but I'd rather his arm beat us than his legs. Keep him contained in the pocket, and we have a good enough rush to be able to do that. I think that's priority number one. And then offensively, we have to get off to a fast start. No more slow starts, no more three and outs to start the game. We need to set the tone on offense, bring the aggression. They probably have the best D-line in the league, and they pretty much killed Case Cookus. I do not want to see Te'amu on the floor that much. Get the ball out of his hand quick and being multiple in the run game. If you are able to run the ball in this game, they will not be able to pin their ears back and go get Te'amu. You need to establish a ground game to burn clock, maintain possession of the ball, and to open up the passing for Te'amu. If the DC defenders can put it all together, they're going to have to play their best, absolute best game. Can they do it? I think they can. But we are going to find out this week. So if you love the DC defenders, subscribe to this channel and let me know down below if I'm crazy. So I'm going to get out of here. And for the love of football, defend football, baby.